Welcome to the United States House of Representatives. As a member of Congress, your mission is to craft a law that will improve the lives of people that live in your district. Success here means that you are securing your re-election in the House. But first, you must choose which district you would like to represent. If you love the great outdoors, the third district is for you. It has the most national and state parks in the region, with great rivers for fishing, hiking trails, and lots of winter activities too. Farming and tourism are the core of our economy. a few letters from some of the people in your district. Let's take a look. Dear Representative, food is a basic need, no matter where you live. For many Americans, it can be really difficult to get, especially if you live in the city, are elderly, and have a hard time getting around or lack the money to buy nutritious food. I write to ask you to take the lead and pressure Congress to find ways to help the older people who need it. Sincerely, Evelyn Ray, Senior Center Assistant, age 33. Dear Representative, America's natural resources are at risk. I am a grandparent to eight wonderful grandchildren who may not get to see wildlife outside of zoos. Preserving nature isn't cheap. I have put much of my fortune behind this effort, and I have wealthy friends who have done the same. But it is a losing battle without the government's help. Please find ways to preserve and even restore the wilderness for generations to come. Let's start by protecting the nature in and around our rural areas. Sincerely, Leonard Hill, retired, age 75. Dear Representative, I own a medium-sized company located on the outskirts of a large city. I've made a lot of money by pushing my workers to innovate and become more productive. What is Congress doing to help other businesses succeed? Can you help make things easier for business owners as well as the people who work for them? Sincerely, Rich Warbucks, business owner, age 56. Would you like help choosing a topic for your bill? Select an issue, then check the pie charts at the bottom to see how much support it has among your constituents. 
try to choose the issue with the most overall support. You've officially introduced your bill into the House of Representatives. Let's get crafting. A lot of work goes into each clause or piece of text in a bill. During congressional hearings, members of the public are invited to share facts and opinions, which may influence which clauses are adopted. Your bill is currently empty, so you'll need to hold a hearing to generate your first few clauses. Congress needs to work really hard to make sure that the food in this country is safe and grows quickly. We need to invest money in this issue. Connecting consumers to the people that grow and produce the food that they eat is important. Bringing these people together could help us find solutions to problems all along the food supply chain. <laughs> Congress should make sure that the rules and regulations placed on food producers protect all people equally. Everyone deserves access to safe food. I believe that the government should help farmers make their own choices about how best to grow food quickly and safely. <laughs> There are many ways to protect the safety of our food and make sure that it is available to Americans. We don't have to just rely on government money and programs to do it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>
do not support the government spending a lot of money to protect our food supply. Consumers should be responsible for their own health and safety. Your bill was introduced into the U.S. Senate. The senators deliberated and have proposed a number of changes. In order for the Senate to pass your bill, you will need to satisfy at least three of the following five priorities. <laughs> 